Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in to the Just Janice podcast. I am your host, Janice, and we know that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So in this joy-filled podcast, you're going to hear real-life stories from other believers. We're going to talk about the kingdom. We're going to magnify Jesus, and it's going to be awesome. So thanks for tuning in, and here we go. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. This is going to be a super short recording. I am actually just spending some time going through my emails. I don't know if you guys are like me and you end up with like 6,000 emails not realizing um, I have not looked at my email in several days. So I've been going through and I'm just so thankful for a lot of the devotions that I get in my email. And so just spending some time today filling myself up by reading through them and being encouraged. I'm so thankful for ministries that do emails. I get one every morning from Christine Kane. It's called First Things First. It's a really, really good, just short devotional and encouraging thing to read first thing in the morning um, so that when you're waking up, you're starting your mind out on the right train track and and um, filling your mind with the word as soon as you wake up. So love that email. And then I have a few others that I really enjoy. So anyway, I want to read one that I got today, and it is the portion of the email that I'm going to read is called Whispers, and it's written by Brian Simmons and Gretchen Rodriguez, and I just thought this was so cool. I've read through it a few times, and I'm like, this is so good. People need to hear this, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you and pray that it encourages you too. I hear his whisper, my grace will give you courage. My love for you will never leave you defenseless, so do not set your gaze on the enemies of faith, for they will stumble and fall. You will rise with fresh courage and feast upon the reality of my presence at all times, for your true comfort and joy is not merely in the victory I give you, but in the knowledge that you are mine. My grace will flood you with bold courage, giving you the ability to move forward in spite of what you see. This is the gift you must take for yourself. More than a companion to you, I will I will be strength and grace in your every moment. Not one thing will keep me from cleansing you and empowering you in my grace. I will use you even in your weakness to bring healing to those around you. Look to me and hope in me. Place all your expectation in me, and I will never disappoint you. Lay hold of eternal life deep within you, and the power of that life will flow through you. So I just love that so much, and especially the line that says, For your true comfort and joy is not merely in the victory I give you, but in the knowledge that you are mine. And I think a lot of times we do focus on all of the awesome things that God gives us because he is our comfort. He is our joy and our strength and he never leaves us defenseless. But just the simple knowledge of knowing that we belong to him means more than any of those things. And yes, his His gifts and his plans and all of those things are just kind of like added bonuses and just part of being a king's kid. But just knowing him and having that love relationship with him is the most important thing. And I feel like that's something he's just shown me throughout this season of my life that yes, he is a God who performs signs, miracles, and wonders that the gifts of the spirit are for today. And, and it is something that's just a cool thing to have in our lives, but ultimately the very, very best and most important thing is to have his love and to have relationship with him and to always make sure that I am operating out of a first love passion with him more than I'm um, doing anything else. That that is, that is my priority and that is my, um, just what I, what I want. That's what my heart longs for is just to have that intimacy with my creator. So anyway, I hope that this blesses you. I'm going to keep this short. Like I said, I want to say just a quick word of prayer over you guys and pray that your day is super blessed. So 
Father God, I just thank you for the listeners on this podcast, anyone who tunes into this episode or any of my other episodes. God, I just speak your blessing over them. I pray that you continue to draw their hearts closer to you. God, that they would hear your voice clearly in this season. God, that they would grow in their faith, that they would um, be strengthened in their inner man. God, that you would allow them to read your word and give them fresh revelation, that we would all read your word and have understanding. God, that our spiritual eyes and ears would be open. God, that the soil of our hearts would be good ground that would receive your word, God, and that it would produce fruit in hundred, sixty, and thirtyfold. God, that it would do what it's what it's supposed to do. God, that it would change our lives. That it would um, perform everything that it says it will. God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your Holy Spirit that lives within us. I thank you for all of the good things that you do in our lives. God, we don't want to take any of it for granted. And I just thank you for loving us the way you do. In Jesus' name, amen.